Hey, welcome back. It's Timo with Timo Paints. And in today's video, we're going to go do an estimate. Um, I got another lead using the Facebook strategy from Justin. Um, if you guys are interested in that strategy, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Um, I got my handy dandy exterior estimating guide with me. Uh, sheet. If you guys are interested in this, I use this on every single job. If you guys are interested in how I estimate my jobs, my exterior, how I estimate my exterior, and how I estimate my interior jobs, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a free, free gift for me to you. So check those links out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if this video is helpful at all. And subscribe if you haven't already because we're going to be doing a lot more of these, especially since I've been using the, the ad strategy from Justin. So, all right, let's go meet these guys and uh, see if we can't give them a good estimate and get the job done. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, we're here now. This is the house, so it looks like it'll be a ways out before we actually paint it but uh let's go up there Man. Hey, how you doing? Good to meet you. Alright, uh, so you're gonna do the estimate on a paint job, huh? Yeah, that's what I was told. <laughs> Alright, I mean, you see, might be a little ways out still, huh? huh? Might be a little ways out still. I'm just gonna have to fucking pressure wash everything and fucking paint it. Okay. And uh, I'm just fucking working on this. Uh, uh, just trying to replace some of the old dry rot and shit. Okay. But fucking with this heat and the smoke, yeah. fuck, I can't even get out here now. Yeah, it's bad out here, man. Oh, fuck it, it's terrible. It's bad. And so, yeah, what do you think it's gonna cost, man? So yeah, can we take a walk around? Check yeah. out the back? Let me, I'll go in and I'll open up the gate. Okay, which side? Over, Over here, okay. This side really gets it, huh? Oh, fuck, dude. This is fucked up. Yeah, this side gets hammered, man. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you just want to try to get some of that off and then just put some kind of peel stop product on there. And yeah. You're not trying to make it look brand new. Yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Tim. Furla. Furla, nice to meet you. Up here. Oh, oh, yeah. Right here. I know it's just floating around. It's crazy. And so, yeah. Okay. Shoot it, spray it and paint it. Spray and paint it, nothing special. Do you do uh, dry rot? Like repair it? Um, depending on how big it is. If it's a small area, I could dig it out and put some, they have like some Bondo we could put yes. in there. But the Bondo usually fails after a couple years, okay. honestly, yeah. And that's why, I'm, that's why I'm changing the wood out front. We had some spots of dry rot and some serious cracking and the old original stuff. This side here, this wood here is all replaced. But then once, once it was all painted, I mean, it's been, what, 12, 13, 15 years since it was painted. Yeah. yeah. And, so, and it's the south side, you know how? Yeah, the south side gets the worst exposure yeah. for oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it just fucking peeled right off. Yeah, because under here looks fine, you know. It's well, good, yeah, good she gets, shape, right? you can see this is where she, she went touched it up. touching up this high. But even here, it's all fine. But this south side, this is like on the other side of the house, isn't that bad. Okay. So you're looking for just come through, kind of pressure wash everything. And, and spray it and, and shoot it, dude. Put some some glue on there, basically, yep. and then put a top coat of some paint on there? Yep. Okay. All right. And so even this and then the garage, too. Okay. I've still got some trim work and shit to do. Some little minor stuff. Okay. Yeah. This is not too bad back here. No. See, even this paint's not that bad. You see... But it, green is the worst for fading to yellow. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's what we're trying to do is find another color. We're, we're going to still stick with a green, but just a different 
toner green. Maybe like a lighter. Well, tone. no, actually. I like the uh, the brown tone instead of the yellow tone. Right? Okay, this I see. Got more of yellow. an olive. Yeah, yeah, all more of an olive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you know of a color that's got the browns in it instead of the yellows. You know, I think your best bet would to be um, just I would head. You know, as far as the paint colors go, I'm not the best at picking colors. You know. Uh -huh. But if you go to like the Kelly Moore, that's where I like to get my paint from. It's right here on Perone Road in Salida. And just tell them, you know, hey, I, I'm, you know, we might have Tim come out and do it. And they'll kind of guide you through and, uh -huh. and limit it down to at least like five greens instead of, you know, yeah. there's dozens of different greens. So right. they could probably help you out more of the popular yeah. colors that are good. And, you know, especially with the, um, oh, the big old praying mantis. Yeah, he was on that, that rig. This side here, it's all fine. Oh, yeah, okay. And so same thing, like a base color, trim color, same trim around the windows as yeah, 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 everything yeah. else. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to cruise around, pace it off, and then uh, count some windows and all that, fill out my little sheet, and then right, yeah. I'll crunch the numbers and we'll see. Yeah. But I think we're... easy just to do that, all the same color as the wall, I don't care. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be separate color. So, okay, yeah, because the eaves are a different color, okay. Yeah. So typically what I do on stuff like this is I'll paint it and then I'll like whatever the body color is will roll up oh. underneath into the eaves and then we'll fa you know, do the fascia. Just the fascia, yeah. Yeah, just the fascia. All right. That's fine. That's, That's easy enough. Yeah. Okay. That'll work for me. Okay. And I'm thinking if you guys just want like the baseline, you know, quick pressure wash like you're saying, some peel stop yep. and some paint, we're probably ballpark around 4,000 is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I'll paste it off. We'll get you exact number. Yeah. And I'll fill out my sheet here, and we'll go crunch it. And, uh, you know, and the back side of this, 20. too. Is this an alley here? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't even know there was an alley right here. Yeah. Okay. That's what yeah. We got an alley, too. Most people have got. It's yeah, an easement, you, right? We have an easement. Uh, it's well, not an I'll alley. I'll tell you what, dude. If you don't utilize it, man, that's why we built the shop here. Yeah. Might as well, right? Fuck, yeah, I need to do that, too. Ours so build, build a if big you got, hey, If you got back. an alley there, man, it jumps your property value of fucking... Unbelievable amount. See, ours is dead ends. It goes all the way down and, dead, and then dead, dead ends. Too. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to do that. Open the back. Because we have a chain link fence with Jasmine. we got to tear all that out. It's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. But once we get all that out, we're going to do that. Because I keep all my paint buckets back there, but it'd be nice to be able to drive yeah. something in, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah. And then you put a shop back here, dude. Oh, yeah. Property value jumps fucking like 40%. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, cool. I'm going to start uh, pacing this sucker off, and we'll see what... What we can get here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what I'm doing now is I'm using my guide here and we're filling out the value. So we pace it off and then we crunch the numbers. Basically one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm counting off all of the door the window trim because you want to mark accordingly. Once you have all the window trim in, then you could use our standards to convert it. And then once it's converted, it'll give you an idea of how long it's going to take. And then once you know how long it's going to take, you can kind of give them a, a good price. I did give them a ballpark figure. I'm having a feeling it might be a little higher than this because they have the back area here against the alley. So we're going to go through. We're going to fill out our sheet. And uh, we'll let you guys know how it goes. Just text you or however you want to do it. Uh, you want to just send me a text or an email? Yeah, I could just. Matter. All right, can I get your? Uh, two zero nine one eight. Three four one eight. And you just put Roy. That's Roy. And then um. Yeah, so I'll crunch all the values in and figure it out. So I'll do it in the next hour or so, and I'll shoot you over a text. Right, yeah, so the white one's a good job, dude. So fucking whatever it takes, just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you know how that goes. Yeah, it's going to be some work for sure. Oh, it's going to be some work. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, so so if, like, whatever it takes, just we'll do a good job. And... Um, The stuff that you're putting up here, what, is it the same? It's just wood? Same. Yeah, it's all same. All same wood. It'll be pre-primed and everything? Yeah, it's all pre-primed. Okay, okay. All right, Roy. All right, well, um, oh shit, the overhang patio cover. Oh, yeah, the porch, front porch here. Patio porch cover. And, uh, you know what, I don't think I counted the windows down over here. Now there's only uh, one, Three. one big window and one kitchen window. Okay, so two. So I'll just do one, plus two. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're probably right around 45. I don't know, but I'll see. I'll punch it in and we'll get, we'll get right on there. All right, Roy. Appreciate it, man. All right. All right take care. Yeah.
All right, guys, so that went pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go home, crunch all the numbers. I think if I had to guess, we're probably at 45, maybe 5,000. Needs a good pressure wash. Um, he's not real concerned about that wood. We're just gonna put some peel stop on there. And um, yeah, so I hope that this helped you guys out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, check the links below to get your free estimating guide to give for me to you. And if you're interested in how I get all these dang leads, uh, click the links down below for the Facebook ad strategy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Or you can just watch any one of these videos right here. And I'll see you right now. Thanks again, guys.